learning objectives after studying this learning module you will be able to know the significance of statistical data discuss the steps for designing a project using data distinguish between primary data and secondary data know the application of several statistical tools in analyzing a problem use of statistical tools introduction statistical tools are important for us in daily life and are used in the analysis of data pertaining to economic activities such as production consumption distribution banking and insurance trade transport etc it is very important to understand the use of statistical tools and methods that can be used for various types of analysis and developing a project how developing a project using the available data is significant developing a project by conducting a survey and preparing a report will help in analyzing relevant information and suggesting improvements in a product or system steps towards making a project using data if we categorize broadly there are six different steps that are used while developing a project and these are identification of a problem or an area of study choice of a target group collection of data organization and presentation of data collected analysis and interpretation concluding the report and providing a coherent estimation identification of a problem or an area of study at the outset one has to identify what they want to study on the basis of identification the collection and processing of data will take place before starting with data collection the analyzer should be clear about their area of interest steps towards making a project 1 choice of target group choosing a target group is imperative for creating a questionnaire for the development of a project different target groups need to be dealt with in different manner for example if the project is related to cars then the obvious choice is to target middle and higher income group people similarly for beauty products females will be the target group therefore we can say that the choice of target group helps to identify the right kind of audience from whom the data needs to be collected focused attention will help in preparing a concrete project report collection of data it is vital to understand the objective of a survey as it helps in determining the right data collection methods data for a survey may be collected using primary or secondary or a combination of both the methods first hand data collection is done through primary methods while through secondary methods data is collected using an external source primary method involves the use of questionnaires personal interviews mailing postal surveys phone calls emails etc for postal questionnaires a covering letter is a must informing the targeted audience about the purpose of the inquiry sometimes it is not possible to collect data using primary sources due to paucity of time manpower and money and the desired information is already available to avoid such constraints secondary methods are used whereby the already collected information is used for conducting a survey steps towards making a project 2 organization and presentation of data once data is collected it has to be processed to fetch the relevant information for the purpose of creating a project report There are various methods to organize and present the collected data. For example, tabular display. 
textual representation and by using graphical images. Organizing and presenting data is one of the most significant aspects of any statistical analysis. During the collection time, a lot of rough data is collected. This data needs to be minimized, organized and then presented analytically. A neat and well-ordered presentation of data is easy to understand, whereas an unorganized and disorderly data serves no purpose and all the efforts made for the collection goes in vain. Analysis and Interpretation The process of breaking the whole survey into its constituent sets to ascertain suitable information is called data analysis. Data can be analyzed using qualitative or quantitative techniques. Data is recorded with a predetermined goal. Analysis of data is important for decision making and helps the surveyors to provide precise information to operate their business effectively. Data which has been recorded but not analyzed is a waste of time and effort. Interpreting a data is the process of making sense of the statistical data that has been collected, organized and analyzed. This process requires vision and insightfulness from the researcher. Data can be interpreted in a number of ways depending upon the creativity of the researcher. Conclusion Conclusion of data is the last step towards developing a project for research purposes. Drawing a meaningful conclusion from the analyzed and interpreted data helps in providing solutions depending upon the problem. Bibliography This section is not a step of developing a project, but here you are required to mention all the references, sources, Reports that are used while developing your project. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned so far. Statistical tools are important for us in daily life and are used in the analysis of data pertaining to several economic activities. Developing a project is a methodological process that includes several steps. To develop a project, it is important to identify a problem or an area of study in the first place. Once the identification is done, then the analyzer has to choose a target group on whom the study is to be conducted. For example, for the project studies relating to consumer products like soap, you will target all rural and urban consumers. Therefore, the choice of target groups to identify those persons on whom you focus your attention is very important while preparing the project report. After the target group is decided, the next step involves the collection of data using primary or secondary or both the methods as suitable. The choice of data collection method is important as this will be useful at the time of actual analysis. Primary method involves the use of questionnaires, interviews, etc. while the secondary method involves the collection of data using third-party services. Different projects require different collection methods and the analyzer can opt for any one or a combination of both the data collection techniques for his or her project. The fourth step involves organizing the data collected and presenting it in a manner that is easy to understand. Processing of the collected information takes place in this stage. The last step towards developing a project using the data is to analyze and interpret it in a way to make it reasonable. Project development using statistical data ends with the conclusion where a meaningful conclusion is drawn after thorough analysis and interpretation.